Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I have another quick Divi Pro tip. So I'm going to show you today how to make a button or anything else. When you click it, it will actually prompt the user to open up their phone, okay? So this is how you can click to call or click to send a text message. So I'm gonna show you both of those. Those are both different, but they work kind of similar. So it's going to, when someone clicks the button, it'll automatically open their phone dialer on any of their phones. All right, let's get started and show you how to do this. So in an age when contact forms are really popular, there's also a lot of times where you would need to have a direct line of communication, like calling a business um, and sending them a text is actually becoming popular now. I'm gonna show you how to do this in Divi a couple different ways and then a couple different you know tips and tricks to keep in mind things that you can do in Divi with your links and you know showing different things on mobile and things like that. All right, so basically this is gonna be really simple, um, but then like I said with a couple of those tricks. So basically we're just adding a button or a link to open up the user, the one who's on the website, when they click the button, it will open up their default like phone app or text app. All right, so let's just go ahead and do the phone one first. It's, it's really simple. Um, so I'm going to just walk you through it over here. I'm going to go ahead and add a button. Well, actually, I'll, I'll follow my own tutorial here. So add a button module, you know, literally just any button module or any module. I should have clarified that. Now that any of the modules have the links, so let me just show you what I mean by that real quick. Like if I, if I wanted to use a blurb, just for example, the link here would be perfectly fine. See how it says module link URL? So that would work perfectly fine. Um, it doesn't have to be a button. And you could do this with a text link as well. But I'm going to go ahead and just use a button module. The next step after adding that is simply to customize the text. You know, you might want to say call now or I don't know. Maybe you want to put the actual phone number in. It doesn't really matter. Um, it's, it's up to you, whatever the, the situation is. Um, some people like to hide the number and say, call now. Um, other people would be more, you know, wanting to just add it in case, I don't know, in case a user doesn't, I don't know if they don't know it's a button or something like that. Um, and just say something like this, where the actual button is the number, um, you know, something like that. And then of course we have to add the actual phone number in the link. So you can't just, you know, customize the button. So if that was my phone number and the button link URL, I wanted that to be, um, whatever. I'm just adding a dummy one through 10 here, but you know, there you would be adding the actual phone number of your company. Okay. But the trick here, which I cover in the next little step there is adding T E L, you know, stands for telephone. We don't say that word anymore, but just add T E L to the beginning like this. So T E L and then a colon. Okay. And the button target, I think that should be new tab. I'm pretty sure. And we're just going to save this and test it out. Now, of course I'm on desktop here, but all right. So user comes to your website, they're looking at your services, whatever. Um, maybe they need a tow truck. I mean, I don't know, whatever they need, they need to click on a button and there you can see it's, it's prompting me to pick an app to make a call. Now, if I was on phone, which I unfortunately can't show you here, you can just go try it. Um, on phone, it'll open up your, um, like if, I don't know, your default app, like on Android for me, it would open up my, um, the Google phone app. Okay. So there you go. That's how easy it is. Now, what if you want to send a text message instead? Well, let's go back in here. And then I have that over here. It's really the same steps. It's so easy. Instead of TEL for telephone, we're adding SMS, which stands for short messaging service. Okay. Now, I don't know how this will change with RCS, rich communication services, I think. Um, it's the new standard that's being adapted so far SMS still works for this. So we're all good, um, right now. So basically all I have to do is get back here to this button, 
Um, and, and, you know, I might say, I might want to say something like, um, send us a text message. All right. And then maybe just like that. And then instead of TEL, just put in SMS. There you go. And you can test that. So I'll just click on the button and it'll prompt um, some kind of messaging service, okay? So on a phone, that will prompt the default, um, like like if you, whatever you use for texting, the main texting app on, on my phone on Android, I can set a default app for that and it'll just open that up automatically and it will auto fill the number and it will put my little you know cursor thing there to start typing the message. So that's really cool. Now a couple of diff just different little tips here. Um, let's say that you wanted to have, I don't know, a contact form on desktop, but only show these buttons on mobile. Um, there's no real, like, cause you saw what would happen. It, it would confuse a user who didn't know like that you can have apps on your computer. So like, there's there's a couple of different things you can go in here to the settings advanced tab visibility and let's say you want to disable this on desktop see how it kind of grays it out so or actually on tablet too maybe um so this button to send them a text message would only show up on phone so that's a nice little way to make sure that that happens you could do that with phone or text there and then the other thing i wanted to show you if if you were using if this was just text, right, instead of a module link, um, let's say like this here, I wanted to make link to a, a phone call or text message. Just highlight the text, and then you can go in here, and you could do the same thing right here, T-E-L, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. Okay, and then target, new window, okay. And then clicking that link there will do that. So it's really the same exact thing as the module link. So again, you can do this in any module. Um, you might want to put this in your header, in the theme builder header, or in the footer. Um, if you're not familiar with using the theme builder, I do have a mini course on that. You can check that out. Um, that would probably be the most logical place to put a button or call, you know, text message button. Okay, so I hope you found that useful, how to click to call or click to send an SMS text message. If you did, if you guys have put this into practice, let me know, comment down below, and be sure to follow along for more Divi tutorials like this. Okay, we'll see you guys in the next video.